a very normal man with very average intelligence once said, if you hate it so much, why do you keep watching it? Today, I am going to introduce you to the highest, highs, 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 H-Y-S, 25 watt walkie-talkie radio. I will show you if it can really output 25 watts, and I will show you how many fars does it can talks. And I will explain to you why any expert that tells you you don't need a 25 watt walkie-talkie is an idiot and should be ignored. The price for a set of two of these Heiss, H-Y-S, Heiss? 25 watt walkie-talkies, a set of two. The price is $169. Affiliate link below. And full disclosure, Heiss, Heiss, however you say the name, did not send me this set of radios. I bought these with the money that I have collected from my supporting members. Those are the members that have joined the channel by clicking the join button below. If you've ever wondered what I do with all of the dozens of dollars that I collect every month from my supporting members, this is what I do. I buy these things and I test them and I show them to you so that you don't have to. Now, as you probably already know, there is not a big difference when you go from transmitting at, say, 3 watts to 5 watts. But when you go from transmitting at 5 watts to 25 watts, there is a big difference. Not only will it go many more fars, but that higher power will also give you more penetration penetration so that you can transmit, penetrate through things like walls, and trees, skulls, much better than you can do with a puny 5 watt radio. And no doubt many online comment experts will proclaim that you don't need 25 watts. Well, those experts are just jealous. What they really mean to say is, I wish my radio, which costs five times more, could transmit 25 watts. They just don't know how to express their emotions like normal people. And no doubt the online comment experts will proclaim that if you ever use a 25 watt handheld radio, you'll fry your brain and then get cancer. And if you've watched my channel, you know how much I hate starting an argument with the online. But I was not able to find any reputable studies that show a definitive link between this type of RF radiation and cancer. But if I was going to be using this radio or any 25 watt handheld radio for prolonged periods of time at the highest 25 watt setting, I would probably use an external hand mic like this. Not because I'm worried about my eyeballs warming up or getting cancer, but because the chicks really dig a hand mic. And when they see that sexy hand mic and you explain to them that your radio can transmit 25 watts, they'll be eating chicken nuggets and corn dogs out of your hand. Now this radio is an FCC part 90 radio, also known as an LMR radio. And I'm sure that all of the members of the FCC YouTube division are probably already breaking their fingers to leave a comment telling us that if I or you use this radio, you will go to jail or receive a very large fine and they would all be wrong. The FCC does say that you need a business license to transmit on this type of radio which I operate under, but the FCC also says that anyone may use this radio or any radio for the protection of life or property. For example, in an emergency situation when there's no other means of communication available. And that is why so many preppers are interested in this type of high powered radio. So when you purchase your set of two HYS Heiss handheld 25 watt radios, you will receive Two, you're going to receive two of everything that I show you, so I don't need to continue pointing out that you get two of everything. You will receive two user manuals. It's more of a user fold-out pamphlet than a manual. It is written in very poor Chinglish, but it does explain the basic operations and it will allow you to get up and running with your set of two new 25-watt radios. You will receive a belt clip made of very sturdy, thick plastic. It attaches to the back of the radio, not the back of the battery. You will receive this handsome wrist strap. 
you will receive a battery charger, two battery chargers. Remember, we're getting two of everything. Both the battery charger and the battery has four pins, so I believe this is a smart charger, but it doesn't say anything in this skimpy little user pamphlet. You will receive an AC adapter for said charger, which plugs into the rear of the charger, thusly. The other end goes to the hole in your wall to provide electrical energy to charge the battery or the radio which sets in the charger, thusly. You will receive this whip, whip antenna. The antenna is tuned for the UHF 400 megahertz band. It is black to match the radio and it is very large. Coming in at 15 inches when measuring from the base, you will receive a battery. This is a 12 volt, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This is a battery and you will receive the Hyas, Hyas, H-Y-S, 25 watt handheld walkie talkie UHF LMR radio. It is a very simple design. There is no screen. It has only two knobs on and off and volume and a channel selector. It has 16 channels only. Antenna hole here. It has three programmable buttons. It has a push to talk button, small microphone hole. I'll talk more about that in a minute. It uses a standard K-type connector, which is behind this sealed door. You can use any Baofeng radio type cable for programming it. I use my Wuxin Ocean programming cable. Affiliate link below. It is very sturdy feeling, very heavy, even without the battery. It's made of very strong, I don't know, ABS, some sort of, I don't quote me on that. I don't know that it's ABS. It is a very strong, durable, thick plastic. It does not feel cheap or flimsy at all. It feels very durable and rugged. One thing that this walkie talkie has that no other walkie talkie that I've ever used has is a fan on the back. That is a little fan inside there. All of you sharp-eyed viewers may notice that it looks just like the Lexan Lexan Note radio. Probably comes from the same child slave labor camp in China. However, this one is more child friendly. I believe this one comes with 25% less beatings. There is no IP rating for this radio, so it is not waterproof, probably not very dustproof. IP means ingress protection. The word ingress means getting in. In a previous video, I made the unthinkable mistake of saying intrusion protection instead of ingress protection. And boy, did all of the know-it-alls let me have it for making such an egregious mistake. So thank you to all that left comments and corrected me. Nobody cares, but you all got a gold star for the day and your mother is very proud. First thing I noticed is that the battery is very tight. It's hard to get it in. It slides in like this, but to actually get it in, that time it went in pretty well. On both of them, I had a really hard time getting it in the first time. And getting it off is just as difficult. It's got a little release here that you push. And then at the same time, slide and try not to peel your fingernails off. Once that battery is in, it's very tight, very difficult to get off. That should not really be much of a problem unless you've got a bunch of spare batteries and you plan to swap them out often. The antenna goes on easily. I'm not going to put it on because then it would be poking you in the eye all the time. Standard SMA male there. That means that the little pokey thing is sticking up there. Female hole here. Screws right on easily, no problem. As I mentioned, it has only 16 channels that you can select from the channel selector knob. It comes pre-programmed with frequencies in there and CTCSS tones, 
which on a GMRS radio would be a problem, but on this type of radio, out of the box, it's designed to talk to the other radio, so that's not really an issue. It is a wideband radio. All the frequencies that it comes with are preset to wideband. You can use the software to change them to narrowband. The channels are all also preset at high power. So when you take it out of the box and start talking, it's transmitting at 25 watts. It is repeater capable and it does do split tones, but you need the software and the cable to do that. The software is very simple to use. It's free. It really only has two screens. If you've ever used any programming software, You'll understand how it works very quickly. The software allows you to add channels, configure repeaters, set the squelch, do several other settings. It also has a very interesting feature that it calls a lease. That allows you to set a self-destruct time on the radio. For example, you can set the lease to expire after 24 hours. And after 24 hours, the radio turns into a brick until you connect it back up to the software and unbrick it. You can also set a password so that you can't unbrick it without the password. I have no idea why anybody would want to do that. If you know a good reason of setting a self-destruct on your radio, leave a comment. Let me know. And yes, the most important feature, possibly more important than being able to transmit at allegedly up to 25 watts. We're going to test that. It does have a Roger beep and it is a very happy three-tone upbeat Roger beep. So are the claims of power output true? I have connected the radio to my Surecom SW102, SWR, and power meter, which has a 50 watt dummy load attached. I will transmit on the radio at low, medium, and high into the meter, and we will see the power output right there. I'm currently on a GMRS frequency. I think we're going to be at 467700 at low power. You can program the power levels by channel, and I program the buttons on the side of mine to switch between high, medium, and low. And the light, the LED indicator light on top, indicates which power level you're at. So we're going to start off on low and see what we get. 5.5 watts. I've set the radio now to medium power. So let's see what we get. 9.9 .9 to 10 watts. Very good. Now let's try high power. 14.3 watts. And all the experts out there are jumping up and down saying, see, we told you that cheap Chinese radio couldn't actually output 25 watts, but they would be wrong. Most radios do not output the same power across the entire frequency band. There's usually a center where they output the most power and then it drops off the further you go in any direction. And I found in my testing that this radio excels in the lower frequencies. So if I change the radio to a lower frequency, such as 421.995, 9, 9, which just happens to be channel 13 on this radio, and we then test it, we will see 23.4 watts, pretty darn close to 25 watts. So yes, this radio is capable of outputting just about 25 watts, 23.2 watts, close enough. But the big question is, how many FARs cans it talks with 25 watts and this big antenna? I was able to talk to my friend Chris on Simplex, 10 miles away. My friend Conrad, 13 miles away. I was able to hit my two favorite repeaters at 30 and 69 miles away. It was all too easy for this radio and the large whip antenna. Whip. We needed more of a challenge. So I asked my friend Conrad, Conrad the chef, to get in his car and start driving east. So Conrad began his journey eastward in his car using his mobile radio with a larger antenna on the roof. And he was able to drive 23 miles until he ran into the mountains. I do like this radio, but even this cannot make it through mountains. At 23 miles, he was still able to hear me using this radio and this whip antenna. As he was making his journey, while he was still closer, he could still hear me fine on low and medium power. But as he got further away, around the 15 mile mark or so, he was no longer able to hear me on low power. I switched to medium power. He could hear me a little further. But as he got out further away, past the 20 mile mark, he could no longer hear me on low or medium. And I had to switch to high power for him to hear me. He then heard me loud and clear. So at those longer distances, Past the 15 and 20 mile mark, the difference between a puny little 5 watt radio and a very manly 25 watt radio, it does make a difference. More 
is better. So a few other things about this radio while I was talking. In Conrad, during his journey eastward, the fan did kick in. It does generate some heat. I didn't feel any of the heat on the outside. It didn't get warm at all. It felt like cold, dead plastic the whole time. But the fan did kick in. It was very quiet. I couldn't even hear it. I had to hold it up to my ear to even really hear it. And the other issue, the other complaint, the microphone gain, the volume of me when they're listening to me at the other end was very low. It was easily overcome by talking closer, but I really had to get it close to my noise hole and enunciate properly for them to stop complaining that I was whispering. This can be a good thing if you're outdoors, if it's windy or loud, that's good. Otherwise, it's a little bit of an issue. That's probably the only issue that I have with this radio is that I really had to scream and project from my noise hole. Battery life, another potential issue on a radio with this much power. And I'm sure all the experts, the experts that have never actually used this radio will say that it's going to run the battery down in minutes. But in fact, the battery, the 4,000 milliamp hour battery lasted me all day. I had it on from the time I woke up very early in the morning at about 10 a.m. I had it on all day until about 8 p.m. Transmitting, testing almost all day at high power, listening more than talking, but I did a lot of transmitting and a lot of transmitting on high power because there's no screen or anything to indicate the battery level. It has a beep warning when it gets down to, I think, 10 or 12%. After nine or 10 hours, listening all day, talking a lot, I never got the low battery beep. So the battery does last contrary to what many of the experts that have never used the radio will tell us. So should you buy a set of these two 25 watt radios. If you want power, then heck yes. My only gripes about this radio, these radios, plural, is the tight battery, which really took some effort for me to get it on and then more effort to get it back off. And the other issue, minor issue, is the low volume on the mic. Those are the only two issues with the radio. It outputs the power that it says it does. It can talkings very many fars. So if you want a handheld radio, with maximum power, this might be the radio for you.